Okay, so with the uh, recent Sonic 1 and 2 decompilation, so that you can now finally play them on your uh, computer, uh, they only really got official release. well if you can call it official, but they only got releases on the GitHub repo um, for Windows and Mac, I think. Um, all I know is that Linux is not on there. So if you want to run it on Linux, you clone the uh, GitHub repository, get the data file out of the APK for the games. If you don't know what I'm talking about, read the README thing on the GitHub repository. It makes it very easy and simple to understand better than I could explain it. Um, but one obnoxious thing that you'll notice upon trying to compile it on Linux is that it doesn't work. You get a bunch of errors. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So first, if you uh, first you want to make sure you have all the libraries, which uh, I'm pretty sure the only ones you need to download are SDL2 and Vorbis. So if you're using um, APT Package Manager, or maybe it's apt. I don't know if you're supposed to say apt. I say apt. Um, which you are if you're using a Debian-based distro, most likely. And if you don't know what that means, it means you're probably using Ubuntu or Linux Mint, and those do use apt. So you would do sudo apt install libsdl2 dev and then uh, lib orbis dev um, then if you're using pacman you do sudo pacman s sdl2 lib vorbis if you're using a different package manager I apologize but I don't know how to I don't know the package names for that so if we uh, look in here we'll see the sonic 12 decomp file uh, folder directory whatever you call it um, so we're gonna be hopping on over there and you'll see that there's the retroengine.hpp file that's the one causing issues so we uh, want to go over there and uh, you want to find this line so if you're back at the beginning you type uh, forward slash SDL enter NN and you'll get here and that's if you're using them if you're not I don't know what to tell you the problem here is that it's including SDL.h and uh, the way Linux looks at it we need to include SDL2 slash SDL dot H um, and the only real reason that is is because this code isn't made to understand what Linux is and for whatever reason uh, it ends up thinking we're that we're using the retro windows platform so I don't know uh, but we just write and quit go back make and it compiles for us um, if you didn't know what any of that meant it's okay you're just typing in one extra word basically and there we go it's already done so now we want a CD bin and here's the compiled thing so then we want to uh, move our data folder here data file. Uh, the data has to be a capital D. Um, if you have it uh, lowercase, once you run the program once, it won't run. You can go to the uh, settings.ini folder uh, file and change the name of it to have the lowercase d, or you can just have the uppercase d here, which in my opinion is easier. Um, so there we go. And here we are with a. Here it is running. If you want to run it full screen, uh, there's that settings.ini thing, so we go to that. And we're going to want to go down here to full screen. And then change that to true, and there we go. It's pretty cool we get to play this in a full screen and widescreen as well. So yeah, there we go. Hope that helped. Bye-bye.